For the last eight to ten years of my life, there has been only one thing I've been completely and totally absorbed with, and nothing will stop that short of being taken off the planet by our enemies. I have not given one single fuck about preserving the Union ever since Trump took office. I still don't. I will say and do anything myself and suggest other people say or do anything that I'd be willing to do in a pinch if I had to to make sure Donald Trump never ever sets foot in the White House by any means fucking necessary. We've already seen what Trump not unrailed is. Trump with no guardrails at all? Yeah. We will literally all die. He will probably start World War Three with a tweet which he almost did several times while he was president. He is the kind of person that gets kicks out of torture. Yeah, he probably was jerking his tiny little dick off and finally family separation, and he was probably jerking himself off watching the fucking insurrection going, <laughs> yeah, I made him do that. <laughs> yeah, oh, they're getting hurt. Cool, they're going to jail. Cool, yeah, yeah. You know... I don't know. I, I swear. I really had hoped that that shooter had finally realized after his very fine people, Trump's very fine people, are getting locked up and going to jail. Or that speech where he says, I don't care if you fucking die. I just need your vote. Yeah, you know. I wouldn't. What kind of leader is that? Really, I mean, I don't care if you live or die. I just want to be in power. And this guy is the guy the billionaires want to make be president again. And by hook or by crook, they are going to fucking do it. And we're going to be screwed. So probably one of the best options will be try trying to convince Joe Biden to refuse to hand over power. To refuse flat out to hand over power. Declare himself king if he has to. Use the godlike powers that the Supreme Court has given him and crown himself dictator. Fuck it. He probably won't because he'll punk out and we'll have to fight, ha fight on the streets. But it would be nice. We need to pressure him to not punk out if he loses. Even if he loses legitimately, I don't care. There is no way in hell that there will ever or should ever be a handover of power to the same side that wanted to kill in cold blood everyone in our government just because they had a fucking but hurt over losing an election fair and square, even in a system that is severely rigged in white man's favor. It's already rigged in their favor. White, supremac white supremacist males have all the power. They're, they are already above the law. Why do you think none of them are fucking in jail and they're all walking around free? They are above the law because they own the law.